The body of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who died unexpectedly in prison on February 16th, was handed over to his mother on Saturday, nine days later, in the remote Arctic city of Salakard. That's according to Navalny's spokeswoman, who posted on X that it was uncertain whether Russian authorities would let his relatives hold a funeral the way the family wants and the way Alexei deserves. In a video posted to YouTube less than 24 hours before, Navalny's widow, Yulia Navalnya, demanded the release of her husband's body and accused Russian President Vladimir Putin, whom she called demonic, of torturing her husband's corpse. You are mocking the remains of the deceased. It is already impossible to come up with more devilry. You violated every law, both human and divine. Navalny said she would continue the fight against Putin's regime and called him a fake for often professing his Christian faith. Navalny's family and supporters have accused Putin of having him killed, an accusation that the Kremlin has rejected. Navalny survived a poisoning attempt in 2020 and years of harsh treatment in prison, including long spells in solitary confinement. His team said on X on Thursday that his death certificate says he died of natural causes. On Friday, Navalny's mother said that Russian investigators were refusing to release her son's body from a morgue in Salakard until she agreed to lay him to rest without a public funeral. Navalny aides on Saturday said authorities had threatened to bury him in the remote prison colony where he died unless his family agreed to their conditions.